Hello and welcome. Now, I normally don't show videos about the same bicycle back to back. I like to mix things up a little bit, keep it interesting, you know. But I confess, I'm really excited about this bike, my SpinFit 700C, which I have dubbed the Mark I because it was the first one I bought. And there's a whole story behind that which is in the playlist that I'll link to later. Long story short is this bike recently came back into my possession. Now I had modified it, oh, back in 2019 for use as a commuter bike. And then we started working from home and then I retired and commuting wasn't really a thing I needed to deal with. So I gave it to my sister and recently she gave it back to me having acquired another bike. Now, the modifications that I made did improve the bike quite a bit. But here's the thing, it's not a bad bike to begin with. And I say that very honestly. I, I ended up buying three of these, and if I didn't like them, I wouldn't have bought one, much less three. I think these are great bikes for tooling around town, commuting as I did, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say you'd want to take this on a long bikepacking journey, but I suppose with enough motivation, you can do anything you want. That said, I bought this bike back in 19 for $30. That's right, $30. The uh, third one that I bought, well... I paid the full price in 2020 of $148. But oh my gosh, I looked at the website today and these are up to $248 now. I will say, as much as I like this bike, when you get up to around $250, bucks, you have got a lot of competing choices here. When I got this bike back in my hot little hands, I decided to further modify it. Ah, uh, one of the first things I did was I swapped out the wheels and tires. I had a set of Alex rims with Claris hubs that I had used for another project way back, and I put those on it along with a set of Continental Ultrasport road tires. The combination of these tires and wheels is fantastic. Really improves the ride of this bike. I also converted it back, I say back, I converted it to a one by system. I took the IXF crank set with the external bearings off my Mark II. Again, there's a story behind that in my previous video. Along with that, I installed a MicroShift Advent 9-speed derailleur and shifter and a uh, Shimano Hyperglide 9-speed cassette. Off the top of my head, I believe that is an 11 to 42 tooth range. Now up front, I kept the existing wake handlebar and wake stem, but I swapped out the cheap clamp-on grips for a set of ESI Super Chunky Foam Grips, in red of course, to match the bike. And all this stuff I just had laying around, so I've got like zero extra dollars invested in these upgraded upgrades, for lack of a better term. And the uh, the crank set, um, I wasn't entirely certain if that was going to work with the frame, but as you can see here, it works like a charm. Couldn't ask for it to be better. The clearances are about as tight as you can get, but there are clearances, so I'm good with it. Now, this bike is a lot of fun. Like I said, I, I like tooling around with it, and on my initial shakedown ride, I went down a local rail trail, and that is the kind of terrain that is perfect for this bike. But, you know, you can look at all these static pictures, and yeah, oh, that's pretty. Well, how's it ride? Good question. I'm glad you asked. So I took it for a ride around the neighborhood here. 
and uh, man, I just love how these Alex rims and the Claros hubs and the Continental tires work in concert. I mean, this bike now will coast forever with even the slightest little bit of a grade going. It's really, it's really nice. And I admit, I am all for free rides, you know. Now here's something interesting. This little guy is about two and a half feet long. That's a milk snake. And uh, he was minding his own business, so I minded mine, and we just kept going. Everything was good. And the bike, the 32 tooth narrow wide chain ring is a bit limiting for speed when you get into the higher gears. I may look into a 34 or maybe even a 36 tooth chain ring just to try and improve that. But conversely, this is really handy for climbing. This bike climbs a treat. I cannot say strongly enough how much I enjoy climbing in this bike. And I am not good at climbs. I admit it. They are my weak suit. I just generally am happy with the way this bike turned out. Now, I don't often form emotional attachments to inanimate objects. But I tell you, sometimes I come pretty darn close with my bicycles. Perhaps a little too close, if you know what I mean. But this bike really does do it for me. I love the way it looks. The red and black frame with the hydro form and the, the little scallop details on the top tube. Looks really nice. I did remove a bunch of the decals just to sort of streamline the appearance a little bit. Oddly enough, the Shimano ones on the chainstays seem to have been clear coated over. They were not on my Mark II. So I'll probably paint those over black because they don't need me to advertise for them. Anyway, as I say, I, I really enjoy this bike. It is fun to ride. And for my initial purchase price of $30, I am certainly not in a position to complain about anything with this bike. Even at $248, I think it is a strong contender in that price category. And I do think that if somebody were looking for a bike for general purposes, this is certainly something that should be considered. If you enjoyed this video, I have a link to the playlist that I mentioned earlier, lower left, which includes a first look at this bike and a couple of others that I got at that same markdown sale. There's also a link to another video, lower right, that I think you will like. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Sincerely, I appreciate your time and your interest every time you watch. Thank you so much. Goodbye and have a wonderful day.